Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you how to integrate your tasks into Microsoft Outlook. This is a super easy and quick tutorial, so if you do like the video, you know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Planner. Okay, so all I've done here is I've actually just navigated to office.com and opened up the Planner app. Once you're inside the Planner app, um, what you want to do is actually navigate to the plan which you would actually like to integrate into um, your Microsoft Outlook calendar. So for me, I'm just going to select the supply chain um, plan just here. Um, and I have two sample, um, basically tests, uh, tasks inside this plan that I would like to integrate into Microsoft Outlook. So to do this, what you want to do is actually navigate over to the ellipsis or the more options just here in the um, header of the particular plan. Give that a click and then if we scroll all the way to the bottom here, we have something called Add Plan to Outlook Calendar. If we give that a click, what it's going to do is it's going to ask us to publish this and it's going to produce an iCalendar link um, that lets you add it to Outlook. Um, if you don't see this um, link here, you'll first obviously have to just click um, to add it to Outlook and publish it. If it's unpublished, you won't have this link here, so you need to make sure that publish is selected. With that done, what we're going to do is just basically highlight that entire link and give it a copy. Um, and then we're going to open up our Outlook calendar here. Um, and then basically this will automatically add you uh, add a subscription to the website um, for this. Now, the other way you can do this is if I just close this um, tab down, like I did before, is actually copied this link uh, like so and actually then go and grab your Outlook calendar, pull that into this screen here. Um, what I can now do is actually click the Add Calendar section here from the desktop app um, and then go from internet from this option and then just paste that link into there. Um, and then basically that will also add the calendar directly into our Outlook calendar. So that basically pulls in all of our um, planner tasks into this Outlook calendar. And what it's going to do is it's going to produce um, the calendar in this uh, additional screen over here on the right hand side. Now, what a lot of people do is they tend to just have one of these open at a time, um, but I personally prefer to merge my calendars together. So what I mean by that is if I hit this little arrow here, it puts the calendars in overlay mode. So I can now view both the calendars at the same time in one view. So if I view this week, for example, here, um, and then I just integrate those two things together, we can see the two test um, tasks that I have um, inside my planner. So if I just pull up um, this here, you can see the first task here, um, which is basically this is a test for Outlook and the second task here is testing Outlook. Now if I go back to um, my Outlook calendar, we can see this is a test for Outlook and testing Outlook. So those tasks have now been integrated into our Microsoft um, Outlook calendar. Now if we just go back to planner here, uh, what we see is these two tasks have been integrated directly into our Outlook calendar and as we tick these off we can synchronize those changes with the Outlook calendar as well. So if you're using um, Planner inside your um, Microsoft Teams application for example and that's how you manage your tasks then you'll be able to um, still manage your tasks in uh, teams like you would regularly, um, but also see and basically be able to monitor the various tasks by plan inside your Outlook calendar. Now the other thing that you might be able to do or, or might be interested in doing is actually only integrating your tasks into calendar. Um, so to do that from um, this planner um, application, go to the My Tasks section over here on the left hand side. This is now loading up all of the tasks that I've been assigned and um, what we can do is go to that More Options at the top there and the only option that I have here is to add my tasks to the Outlook calendar. If I give that a click, I can then publish and again I can either use the Add to Outlook button here or grab this um, link, give that a copy head back over to my Outlook calendar, add a new calendar from internet and paste that 
in. Uh, that's now connecting to all of the plans that I have tasks created, um, or my tasks, if you will, um, and has now basically pulling all of that data into a single screen. So you can see how I have these two tasks that are a, a part of a specific plan. Um, so in my supply chain plan, also exist in the My Tasks section. So if I pull this into here, we can see that these are being duplicated because I'm, I'm viewing both the plan and My Tasks. So I could close um, the plan specific um, tasks and only look at My Tasks, or I can have um, multiple plans inside my Outlook calendar. So I can see um, every single plan that, uh, you know, relates to what I am doing. So if you're a um, project manager, you might have so many plans going on um, that actually, you know, you might want to have 10 or so plans integrated into your Outlook calendar so that you can see in overlay mode absolutely all of your critical paths all in one screen. If, however, you're just someone um, who is a member of a team and you just want to see your um, tasks that you know that you are accountable for then actually you might not want to integrate every single plan you might just want to integrate your personal tasks um, and that's how you go about doing it basically it's um, very simple to kind of go through and find um, the plans that you are most interested in actually pulling into Outlook or just pulling in your own specific plans um, and just one last note just to bear in mind is if you're not the plan owner, you must, um, the, the only way that you're gonna be able to get that iCalendar, iCalendar code is to have that uh, plan already shared by the plan owner um, or published by that plan owner. If the plan is not um, already published by the owner of that plan, then you're not going to be able to integrate it into your Outlook calendar. That is something that absolutely has to happen by the plan owner. We will, however, still be able to integrate my tasks. So any of your personal tasks, you can integrate um, into your Outlook calendar, um, independently of whether the plan has been shared or not. Um, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.